Can you survive a 10, 10 million degree Fahrenheit fire that refuses to extinguish itself? The answer is no. Steel is cut as 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Every day the people at Ant National Ignition Facility try to bring this fire to our world. Wrong is a dead world. Every life in it destroyed by the same fire as is on the sun. A fire that burns your skin from 91 million miles away. A fire that burns atomic bonds. A fire that is not fusion as stated to be. That would be two hydrogen atoms fused into helium. The math is for every two hydrogen atoms lost, there, mu there will be a helium atom present emitted from the sun to create that heat. It does not exist. Consider the quantity that then would be evident escaping from the sun of helium, because there is no helium in any real quantity that shows up on the spectrograph images of the sun. We know it is not true. Whereas only a, only a little hydrogen would be consistent with an ash cloud from all the atomic nucleus, nucleuses being destroyed by bonding destruction. Wrong is a dead earth. Every day this threat exists, and at any second, at any time, that fire can be ignited at the National Ignition Facility, in which case every life on Earth lives or dies based upon the theory it will just extinguish itself. Not true. Biblical prof prophecy is added from Daniel. There goes the great abomination, which is the single worst decision humanity can make, which would be to bring the same fire here as is on the sun. That begins at the National Ignition Facility on its day of completion, when it starts, the world ends 1,298 days later, according to prophecy, but it goes on to say the real end is 45 days after that, roughly the time it takes to eject all the atmosphere of this earth into space, or more simply, the writer from thousands of years ago knew it would be the same fire as on the sun, because no other explanation for this gap could exist, even if he didn't understand. The exawatt lasers predicted finished at that about that exact same time of the prophecy, they are building three, they will triangulate those beams into one location to cause, by their own estimates, 1 times uh, uh, 10 by 18 watts of, of power released per each laser. With 3, that gives us a total of 1 times 54 zeros, as they're predicted watts of power crashing into each other when done. Or 3 million of the largest lightning bolts possible, all hitting the exact same spot at the exact same time. Can you survive a nat nature itself being destroyed by geneticists trying to bring evolution to this world because of their religion, which is evolution? Only adaption ha is proven. That is the sign of perfect design, not chaos building anything. Can you survive their being wrong with all nature on Earth? Creating diseases, pandemics, and mutilation spread. A horrendous, so horrendous, too small is, is too small words. The answer is no, you can't. Can you survive oxygen loss in the atmosphere because of all the fire we create? Fire consumes oxygen. Seven plus billion people with cars, furnaces, cooking, and more have been cut down or attacked in all ways the very parts of creation itself that make oxygen for us all to breathe. The answer is no. Can you survive water lost in the production of ethanol, water lost in the filling of old oil reserves to float up remaining oily debris from a hundred years ago, empty caverns? Can you survive the loss of water ending in at least one of the Great Lakes? Can you survive all the trillions of gallons of water being polluted in a variety of ways, used in chemicals, etc.? Can you survive even one pressure leak which sends natural gas into a major aquifer? Can you survive one earthquake that releases many pressure leaks into nearly all aquifers? Can you survive an earthquake several times larger than anything this earth has ever experienced in the history of time? Can you afford to be wrong? Can you survive a human population growth over two million more mouths to feed each week? Can you survive an empty sea because the single worst environmental catastrophe of the moment in, in the ocean is the factory fishing trawler? That does take every last fish in a given area with one big net, destroying the possibility of rebuilding that fish supply with nothing left to rebuild the next generation. Now, nothing left to feed other predators in the sea. So they starve too. Nothing left soon for you to eat either. Can you survive the loss of antibiotics? Can you survive close con livestock confinement without antibiotics? One disease in that confinement and all the livestock dies from the spread of a single infection. They stand extremely close and there is no escape from it. Can you survive a bloody civil war in this USA because the university leaders stole all your money, leaving America with debt of $139 trillion dollars? by the Federal Reserve.gov Table L5 Accounting. There's much more. Go search. 
www.trialoflife.info.